Eric, I just had been joined on the telephone line. Hold the line for me, Mr. Boache, uh, yeah. by uh, Dr. Ba Nyako, who is the General Manager, Sustainability Division of the GMPC. Uh, Dr. Ba Nyako, thank you for your time here on Top Story. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. Uh, please confirm for me um, the, the approvals for from the GMPC board for uh, 2019 Damba Festival, 400,000. 20th anniversary of Chihene, 500,000, um, Rebecca Foundation, 120,000, Yoko, etc. Why were these necessary? Okay, thank you very much, and uh, good evening to your listeners. Um, uh, basically, uh, these are part of the process of GMPC, the board, the board subcommittee on brands, communication, and CSR. Some of the activities are purely advertising opportunities for uh, GMPC. So, for instance, uh, Ghana Journalists Association, as part of the AGG Awards, will go out to organizations who uh, advertising uh, space um, uh, in their brochures and for stated benefits. So they, consult, they came to GNPC, uh, they brought a proposal, we, we reviewed it, went through corporate affairs, reviewed it, made a recommendation to the board on an opportunity for us to advertise GNPC. So that's purely an advertising opportunity. Similar case is the Ghana Boxing Association as well. It's purely advertising opportunity for GMPC. And the board has the power and the right to determine how they are going to market the image of GMPC. So basically, for those two, Rebecca Foundation, an amount of 120,000 uh, Ghana cities. It was it's, it's to support two women's groups as part of our economic empowerment activities within the Western region, specifically in the Mpohol West to set up two oil palm milling uh, uh, plantations in the western region. One for the Nyame Insa Women Oil Palm Processing Association and a Dumban Su Women Oil Processing Association. Of course, anybody can de decide whether the GMPC should be supporting women's groups. But we are in the western region. It's pa as part of our corporate social investment. We feel that we need to empower the women's group in the western region as well. So this is purely support that is going to the Rebecca Foundation for two women's groups to set up oil palm processing. On, on that, Dr. Banyako, you acknowledge the concern that Rebecca Foundation is a foundation uh, owned and run by the First Lady of the Republic. Yes. Um, seeing that his, the, the husband is a president of this land yes. who appoints your yep. chief executive officer, there yep. are concerns there clearly about conflict of interest and whether this particular allocation was done mm. purely based on merit or because of patronage? Well, I, I think uh, anybody can uh, make such arguments, but I can assure you that the MP is made up of very well-meaning uh, guys. And this process begins with my unit, which is the Corporate Affairs Unit. The request would have come through the Chief Executive. The Chief Executive would have referred it to the Corporate Affairs Unit my team will then review the various sponsorship requests that will come in to find out whether it even falls in line with any of our stated objectives. Once we feel there's a case, then we would have forwarded it to the board subcommittee on brands, uh, communications, and CSR. If they feel that there's any worthy uh, project to be supported, then they will forward it to the main board. I think it goes through a process that uh, in the past few years or so, has been well documented, and the outcome of the initiative that GMPC has undertaken, especially in our corporate social investment activities, are documented even in the PIAC report of 2018, which talks about the fact that we have done value for money and make sure that oh, the impact is great. So I think uh, the, the, there is enough evidence to suggest and, that. And so, and so you say that if the wife of former President John Mahama sends a request for you to sponsor her foundation, you would you will do so? I, I think there are, there, are, there are records to show that we've done that in the past. Even under this current government? Well, uh, currently I've not received anything from her, so I cannot speak to that. So if she brings it today, she'll be well, considered in the same way? Today, if it's a worthwhile uh, activity that needs to be supported, why not? Uh, you talk about the uh, GB, G, uh, GJA and um, the Ghana Boxers Association fundings yep. being yep. purely because of uh, advertisement. I mean, yes. the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, what are you advertising? We are advertising GMPC. For what purpose, sir? For, for mileage. Just as uh, 
uh, media houses spend time uh, more, more than, uh, more, and some other people come into the media to demonize GMPC. GMPC also works with other international organizations, and we need to portray GMPC as a credible organization. And so you also work on your, 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 your image, and that includes advertising the good things that you are associated with. So GMPC also engages in advertising, just like any other international oil company. The GMPC, you're not selling anything. You're simply representing us when it comes to the it upstream sector. It is not sector. about selling a product. It's about selling your image. It's a brand, and that brand needs to be built because we engage. Even when we go, you go even when you go are borrowing, the people reviewing your, your, your request even thinks about your image, whether you are a credible organization to deal with. And media reportage about what you do also affects your brand and your image. So the fact that we don't sell any product that is sold competitively on the market doesn't mean that GMPC's image doesn't need to be uh, improved and enhanced. What about the uh, 500,000 CDs you're giving to the 20th anniversary for Chihini? And four hundred thousand to the Damba Festival. Uh, how does that how does that fall within your own stated CSR mandate of okay, so education, social infrastructure, health, sanitary, uh, uh, sanitation, and, and facilities? And environment. Yes. Environment so how how does that how does that so fall the, in the mandate? The the, the tree planting for China is a project to plant twenty five million trees in three years. It, uh, this request was received over four months ago, and we have, it has gone through a lot of discussions and processes to determine the viability of the, such a project. GMPC believes in environmental sustainability, as you, you clearly have stated in your uh, preamble, and we thought that this is a very good project that we support, and the board in this ways don't feel that uh, if the country through the Ochehini's Palace can plant 25 million trees in three years, it's, it's a step in the, in the right direction. You, you, so, so how much exactly is your Ochihini getting? Because I see in the document there's 500,000 over three years, and there's 1.5 million for the en environment and greening, and then there is an additional 300,000 for the organization of the 20th anniversary. I think I think if you read the memo well, it says 500 over three years, totaling 1.5 million Ghana cities for the environment and greening. So that's very good. That's what, that's what breaks down. So what about that's, the 300,000? 300,000 Ghana cities is, uh, is for support for the, the organization of the celebration, which is something we do for several other festivals. So, so you're spending, Mr. Banyaku, Dr. Banyaku, you're spending 300,000 cities for the celebration of a man's 20th anniversary. And, and because it goes into specific things that if you have... Uh, if you have opportunity to read the proposal that we receive. You understand what it goes in for. No, Mr. Wanyaku, you, your stated objectives in the CSR, education, social infrastructure, mm -hmm. health, sanitary, mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. facilities across the country. Surely, yes. 300,000 CD for the organization of one man's 20th anniversary doesn't fall in any of these areas that you yourself have stated. Well, I, I, can, I can assure you that celebrating uh, cultural diversity finds meaning in uh, the GMPC's vision of making sure that our activities have a beneficial impact on the country as a whole, if you can look at our vision, our overall vision. So I, I, don't, I don't think... Uh, so, sorry, are you saying that spending 300,000 CD of the taxpayers' money for the organization of the 20th anniversary is beneficial for us? It is beneficial. And, uh, for instance, I'll give you an example of the, that, one, that, that one one. GMPC currently... No, so for, forgive me. Can we stay with the specifics of for the organization of 20th anniversary? How and is the 20th anniversary is, celebration of one man beneficial? Our cultural diversity. It's out in culture. And unless you're saying that we shouldn't celebrate our cultural diversity. But that is not what you said you will use your CSR money for. And I've said that it fits in because I've drawn your attention to the fact that the board looked at the fact that it's beneficial to the country as a whole, cultural diversity. It says whatever we do should benefit the, the people of Ghana. Yeah, but cultural so diversity, I'm, I'm, just a second, cultural diversity is not listed as one of your goals and objectives in this year. That's what I'm pointing out to you. It's not part of say, it. And I'm saying that the board felt that it fits into the broader vision of our impact being beneficial to the people of Ghana. 
you can focus on that uh, team. The board decides that this stated objective you are talking about. When I, a proposal comes to them and they, fit, they feel that it fits into a broader vision, I think they have the liberty to support that. And, and the Damba Festival, you say? That's where we spend the money. It's the board that determines these uh, specific objectives we are talking about. And they think that it fits into a broader objective. How you, is that difficult to understand that? You budgeted $43 million for CSR in 2019. Yep. How much of that have you spent so far? Uh, probably in the region of uh, $7 million so far. $7 million. So you're left with more than $30 million. Yes. The fact that we budget for something doesn't mean that we spend that, uh, all of that. Okay. So um, f just a little over a month to go, what's the plan? Do you have plans to spend more or that's all you're spending? No, some of them uh, are, are still undergoing review. The board itself is reviewing certain MOUs that we are signing. For instance, the, uh, the, mo the money for the tree planting will be subject to an MOU which states clearly the reporting lines, how GMPC is going to monitor the implementation of all those projects. So it's not every money that we budget for that we will probably spend before the end of the year. The PIAC, um, which is a statutory body, has raised concerns yep. with these spending. In fact, they say you are spending a million to build a, a fertilizer plant. Um, the, the concern is that you're spending too much in your non-core areas. Your, what's your reaction to that? Well, the PIAC itself also talks about the fact that GMPC, they, 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 they think that GMPC has a, a properly defined CSR focus and they think they are very happy with the way GMPC is in the same report, 2018 PIAC report. They talk about GMPC, CSI activities, and the fact that we are spending the money judiciously and that they feel that we are, making, we are getting value for money. It's in the same report. Uh, well, Mr. Barnyak, I'm grateful that you join us with these explanations. Thank you very much.